डू यू नो वाई डीप सीक हैज मल्टीपल मॉडल्स एंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वी थ्री आर वन एंड आर वन जीरो मॉडल ऑफ डीप सीक सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल ऑफ दिस हाई गाइज वेलकम टू फ्री बर्ड्स यू एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू ऑल अबाउट कंपेरिजन ऑफ डीप सीक ए आई वी थ्री मॉडल्स डेट आर वी थ्री आर वन आर वन जीरो एंड यूजिंग द रिसर्च पेपर विद मॉडल आर्किटेक्चर वर्किंग एंड अलॉन्ग विद पाइथन कोड एज वेल so we'll see how these deep seek models are beating closed source models gpt4 or meta in reasoning capabilities as well so let's get started so basically the deep seek v3 is a nlp based foundation model that is trained on vast amount of data and r1 and r10 are the derived model from the v3 using various training techniques that we will discuss in this video further okay so basically the deep seek v3 is a advanced language model developed using the mixture of expert architecture uh, that has 671 billion parameters and this model is designed to be computationally efficient by activating only a subset of it parameters that is 37 billion for a process each token thus minimizing the resource usage but the deep seek v3 has trained over 14.8 trillion tokens which enabled it to excel in various tasks including mathematics coding and multilingual understandings as well and here are the various components of the deep seek v3 that first is the mixture of experts framework and then it had multi head latent attention and then it had auxiliary loss free load balancing strategy multi token prediction and fp8 and dual pipe training framework so these components are replaced in the traditional transformers Uh, making it more efficient cost effective and slap on a billion dollar model as well so to know more about deep seek v3 i put the video link in description and in the i button as well in which i explained about complete deep seek v3 model completely with its working architecture and all the components in detail with the maths and real world examples as well okay so let's move to the deep seek r1 so deep seek r1 is designed to excel in complex reasoning task utilizing advanced reinforcement learning techniques this method is particularly effective in scenarios where logical reasoning and problem solving are required for example if all the humans are mortals and socrates is a human then what can we conclude from this and its output will be socrates is a model okay so this is at uh, the example where deep uh, deep seek r1 leverages its uh, reasoning capabilities to draw a logical conclusion based on the premises we provide okay the model ability to understand and process logical structures allow it to generate the coherent and accurate outputs as well so this diagram shows the training process that is the r1 is derived from the deep seek v3 by using the reinforcement learning and supervised fine tuning technique so it use reinforcement learning because at the inference time it use the chain of thoughts and because of the chain of thoughts it need to learn at the inference time to provide the best reasoning possible okay so let me show you about the architecture of the deep seek r1 okay so both deep seek r1 and deep seek r10 leverages the advanced capabilities of the deep seek v3 but differ in their implementation training and the focus areas so as you know the r1 is trained through multi stage pipeline that combine the reinforcement learning and supervised fine tuning and rejection sampling along with the distillations as well so there are the like key features of the uh, deep seek r1 architecture the first is the position encoding that it use the rotary position embedding which enable to to understand the long context better and then we have the uh, attention mechanism it use the multi head self attention along with the flash attention for computational efficiency and in place of the feed forward neural network it use the mixture of experts in larger models to balance the performance and efficiency as well and along with the token efficiency it is optimized with sparse attention techniques to reduce the memory requirement and for the longer context processing it can handles up to uh, 32768 tokens per prompt for complex reasoning as well okay and uh, using this whole architectures here's how we can train the deep seek r1 model from deep seek v3 as well so deep seek r1 goes the four stage training process the first is the deep seek undergoes a fine tuning on carefully curated chain of thoughts reasoning data to stabilize early training and once it fine tuned on the structured cot data 
the deep seek r1 undergoes reinforcement learning to optimize its reasoning skills it also applied the group relative policy optimization that is a part of the proximal policy optimization as well that we will discuss in our next slide here and so group relative policy optimization removes the need of a critique model that reduces the computational cost and it uses the group based reward instead of the single step reward function okay so once the uh, reinforcement learning model reaches its stable uh, performance here the incorrect and the sub optimal outputs are rejected then the model is fine tuned over two approaches to integrate the best responses as well and to align it with the user expectations and reinforcement learning fine tuning stage incorporates the human preference signals there then then the final policy is optimized for helpfulness coherence and and harmlessness as well okay so that's how the r1 model is trained and it works really when on the reasoning task that we will see in the next slide with python implementation as well so now now as we discussed in the last slide the grpo that is called group relative policy optimization that eliminates the need of a separate value function model or a critique model simplifying the training and reducing the memory usage as compared to the proximal policy optimization which relies on the critique model to estimate the advantage okay the grpo use the group based advantage as compared to the uh, single token advantage there as well. so let let me just explain you with the example here so let's just say we have a prompt that is called what is the capital of the italy so the responses that are generated by the large language model are rome venice and milan so after scoring each model based on their uh, truth we have these scores okay and the grpo calculates that the rom is significantly better than the average score of the group that is all the score that that would be around like 6 okay then it reinforce the model's tendency to generate rom as a response in the future interactions but the ppo will use other models to do that and that will require the computation here as well so that's how the grpo is better than the ppo so that means we can achieve good performance in less resources as well if you need a separate video on that ping me in the comment section and i will surely make video on that as well so now let's talk about the matrices and the limitations of the deep seek r1 so in the real world performance it uh, or in maths it outperforms the open ai o1 on complex algebra and the calculation task and in the coding it reached the 96.3 percentile on code forces and surpassing 96% of the human competitors as well and and in the gk it achieved 90.8% accuracy in the mmlu test beating the open ai models as well but for the limitations it needs improvement in the multi turn dialog functions or in the json outputs for now it is optimized only for the english and the chinese language so it need to train on the other languages as well and it needs better reinforcement learning for debugging and api related task for the code as well okay so now let's use this r1 and build a app out of it by using the olama here okay so this is a site guys the deep seek r1 model i need to select the model version first and then i need to copy this command if you don't have the olama in your system you just need to go on the google write the olama and go to their uh, github and download the respective olama installer from that and uh, i have the max so i install that and when you got this you just need to uh, write the llama there and it shows that you have the llama in your system and then you need to just copy that command and uh, download that llama into your own system as well it takes some time to run but after it run you can easily use llama in your own local systems with the deep seek r1 model as well okay so after some time that uh, it will completely run So as you see here that it completely run and I ask hello here and it can say hello how can it assist you then I ask portion that uh, do you know a uh, uh, programming in python and then it shows that thing and then it can answer it as well and that's here it can answer so first it thinks in a think tag and then it can also generate the answers as well 
so that's how the deep seek r1 will run on your local system as well okay so now let's try to build a app out of it by using the python code here as well so guys if you see my screen here we have the deep seek r1 model here and the code is right there and we also uh, run this model in the olama in our terminal i ask a hi and can easily answer us that as well so first we need to use the chat olama because we need to interact with the our uh, terminal here as well and then we need the parser that we need the string parser and we need the message templates as well the first thing is we need to use the chat llama and uh, specify our model and the base url that we already running it in our local host there we just pass that and the temperature as well and when we passed a system prompt here we passed a prompt that how it should act like that okay and then we just uh, send a generate ai response based on the prompt that we send in the base of a string output for uh, formatter then i ask a coding question here how how do i reverse a string in python and ask generate the question it first thinks think that how the code will work it just make the logic first and then after that it tries to give me the python code here and that's the python code right there as well okay so it it really works like really really well here it gives me all the steps and all the explanation on why the code works and how the code works as well so that's how you can utilize the deep seek r1 1.5 billion model on your own local system and try to do experiments with that as well okay guys now let's talk about DeepSeq R10. So DeepSeq R10 is a reasoning based model that is uh, trained from the DeepSeq V3 using the pure reinforcement learning without relying on the supervised fine tuning as compared to the DeepSeq R1 that relies on the both of the reinforcement and supervised fine tuning techniques as well. For example, if I just ask, explain the process of photosynthesis in plants. So then the deep seek model uh, respond with the answer here as well. It retains the efficiency by activating only 37 billion parameters during the inference time. It emphasizes generalization across various tasks without needing extensive fine tuning or the task specific training data as well. And if we talk about this training process it train only using the reinforcement learning without any supervised learning techniques as deep seek r10 adopts the group relative policy optimization an improved version of the proximal policy optimization to optimize the reasoning capabilities as we already discussed in the previous uh, slides here and uh, the reinforcement learning in the deep seek r10 is guided by the rule based rewards it uses two primary reward function first it use the accuracy rewards that encourage the correctness in the task like math and coding if the mathematical solution is correct the model get a high reward and then it have the format reward that ensures that the reasoning is enclosed within the think tags and the final answers are inside the think tags if formatting is correct then we have the the bonus reward is given to it okay the top responses reinforces the policy while the poor ones are penalized okay that's the aha moment here where the model realizes its own mistake and correct it for example if we solve the math question it's solved by thinking making a mistake and then solve it again and solve it correctly as well and for your information it is optimized only for the reasoning task not for the creative writing role playing or the chat based task as well and for the performance it works really when in the reasoning task and come really close to the gpt4 and beat many open source models as well with less cost and resources as well so in our next video we'll build a rag based project where we compare deep c car one and gemini pro 1.5 on the base of their performance and ask reasoning questions as well as the other rag based questions as well so just subscribe now and we'll soon upload this video and if you want to learn about generative ai rag and llm you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium please subscribe like and comment and we'll meet our next video thank guys thank you so much